And we are back on the Mana Symbol channel playing a little bit of Jeskai Creativity, Jeskai Velomachus Turns. So uh, we actually just 5-0'd with 4-color for the first time in a long time. Um, so that is really cool, really exciting. Uh, and as a matter of fact, on the 4-color build, I think I just tweeted about it, but my record is 19-6 and six over the last five leagues uh, with some tweaks and changes all over the place. So uh, pretty exciting stuff. Um, so, um, we're trying this Jeskai version. A lot of people uh, always ask the questions about is Renin 6 necessary, et cetera, et cetera. So we get to try a different build here, a slightly different build. Um, so where do we end up? Uh, well, we have a little bit more room for Fire Ice, a little bit more room for Remands, and one extra hard evidence because we're not going to have as reliable ability to put Dwarves into play. Uh, we don't get to play Veil of Summer in the sideboard. Not a huge loss. Definitely a loss. Um, not sure about the three Prismatic Endings. Anyway, um, what we have in the main deck is we've got uh, all the same tur taking turn spells, same dragon, same creativities. So a lot of the games are going to play out the same. Uh, still Prismari Command is excellent to Fairy Time Raveler, of course. Uh, and then we have a little extra space. I put in one Jace the Mind Sculptor as a sort of backup potential win plan. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. I do like the fact that like this can help us uh, just kind of uh, uh, fix our draws and get through the deck and, and things like that. So I would want a second Jace. It's just really hard to figure out where... I want it in this particular list just because the Kavo takes up so much room. We still got the uh, sideboard with the Nahiris and the Emrakul. Maybe, maybe we'll find out we need the Iona too. Um, for now, I'm going to roll like this. It's a sort of classic configuration, but Iona or Sarah's Emissary might, might be necessary in the sideboard. Um, so I suppose we'll find out as we're going through. Um, the one thing is Iona is a little bit worse uh, as is Sarah's Emissary, because we're less likely to be able to hard cast them in a lot of games without Renin 6. Same with Velomachus, actually. So Renin 6 it will be missed, but we'll see if we can make it by without. Uh, people usually recommend also that I play Expressive Iteration. One, I personally have a dislike for that card in any deck that isn't like super, super low to the ground or is playing Renin 6 in order to be able to constantly generate uh, land drops so that they can use it into the mid-late game. Um, it's just not really a good tempo card for this kind of deck in my mind, but I could be proven wrong very easily, I'm sure. Um, the problem is you don't have a lot of room for cards that don't affect the battlefield. That's my very strong feeling at this point. It's a really good opener. Let's go. Your video game collection broke the 20k mark, excuse me. I I I don't uh what do you have? I guess the bigger question is what do you not have? So this is almost definitely Jeskai Lotus Field on a mold of five? Could be Belcher. I don't know that they play this card. Um let's play this just in case. It's Belcher. Well, turn two Blood Moon beats us flat. Recross will be fine. Unless they have Pact in hand.
They may not have known we were on a blue deck. Seventy games for PS4 and Switch. Jesus, you are a gamer, friend, and you're here a lot. You must be gaming at the same time, right? Price charting link. Oh, in a PM. Thank you. Oh. I was talking about this song earlier. Hold on. So that whole time in the intro, you can listen to that guitar line. And that's going over the... The four four time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's really, really cool. Yay, cross rhythms. Uh, for anyone listening to the future on YouTube and you can't hear the song, the song is Tom Cochran's Life is a Highway, which when re record well, when covered by Rascal Flats was simplified for reasons unknown to me. It's very important you all know that. What the hell? I don't know if it was four cars blitz, but it definitely was at the same time. What the hell is this? Why is this happening? Does anyone understand what this play is? They upkeep the Manamorphose. Oh, so they get to play the Reforge off this draw. Which means they get an eight card hand. Right, okay. If I reman this, then it goes draw step. They have the reforge. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I think this screws them up the exact same amount. I don't think letting them draw the reforge there is relevant or helpful. Could be wrong. Two reforge on top? Ooh. So we'll upkeep. Shit, but they have the mana morph. Ah, that means I did screw up. Fuck. Oh, please don't tell me that's real. Oh, but I could prismari them now. I could Prismari them now and uh, and disrupt that play. No, the ice won't work because I put the Mana Morphos back in their hand. But if I Prismari command them now, I can get them off the second one. Reforge Pact, Reforge, sorry? Why would I that it's fine cuz if if they if it's packed and thing we'll see. It's e either way They drew one reforge, yes, but they could have second reforge. They didn't trigger there. Uh so it might have been packed and reforge, but No, but that was it was smart to bring up the second reforge because uh I could play around that, but I couldn't do that with fire ice. 
So if they had stacked a second Reforge, they would have been able to go off there. I've given them like, I want to say like 80% of, no, not 80. I think they have about half the stack that they created, but they don't have the whole thing yet. I think this turn they're very likely to be able to kill me, so we just have to go for it here. Which is fine. Go, Velo! If we hit a time warp, yeah, this, I think this game's basically over. Jace should make this very easy. Okay, they're off it. So if I just attacked... Okay, we, we would have it over. Good. Because Mario's play is nice, Eyelash can tell you. Uh, yeah. Once we saw it the one time, it's become uh, more of a regular part of my repertoire. I think I'd rather keep the Jace than one of these hard evidences. Um, just because I kind of want a backup like win condition. And Jace just like brainstorming every turn is just going to make the game impossible for them. It's like, I have enough hard evidence kind of plays at this point. Uh, so Blitz, in a bunch of different situations, if you can cast Prismari... We're just going to ship this. If you can cast Prismari Command, you can choose the draw mode on your opponent if they sack their deck with uh, Recross to make them draw the cards in an order that they don't like. Oops, stop it. Well, Mortal Kill Zone, I don't think we're at the uh, Y male models point yet. Oh, you're just beefing with Blitz. That's fine. All right, turn two Blood Moon Rex is here. We mold the five, so. And I drew another Time Walk, which is a really bad draw. Please no turn two Blood Moon. Please no. Uh-oh. Belcher? That's bad. I can ice it during their upkeep, though. And then shatter it. Ha! <laughs> Oh my god. I don't think that there's actually like a good record of it, by the way, but um, there was a game where on creativity, my mill opponent did something to me that pissed me off, and I had Renin Six Emblem and Prismari Command, and I milled them out. And it was... I lost my shit. It was so funny. It took like 15 turns, but I milled them out and killed them. It was, it was one of the goofiest things I've ever done. <laughs> um, they can't veil. They could pact. The hell is this? Metamorphos Veil. Vale. Oh, no. Blue, blue. Trying to draw one. They should have gone for cream. So they're just telling me they either don't know how their deck works or they boarded out Veils? They could have hit another Metamorphos too, and they... This, this is okay. Not good, but okay. Okay. 
four, five, six. One more land we can cast Bellow. To hit counters Pell? Oh, well, I mean, they're not playing counter spell, right? Second Belcher would be rough. Recross is also probably lethal. lethal. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Seriously, Rock Stacker Stan? It's a different name for a 16th century archway. It was popular in what is now Germany by the time it's Prussia. <laughs> Dude, I'm just kidding. I made that all up. <laughs> I don't deadpan people enough. So every now and then, like, you, I really get people because they're never, ever expecting it from me. I mean, if I did get you, yeah, I got him. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. I'm sorry, Blitz. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shot up. Man, they are stacking big time here. Oh. Oh. So if I fluster storm when they play reforge, they have to tap out. It's probably not good enough. I also then won't have a treasure token. Uh, I'm probably not going to play it tonight, Shada. Yikes. All right, let's see if they actually set up a kill. I suppose I could draw into remand or fluster storm or something. They went deep on this reforge. <laughs> yeah, it's a really bad draw, actually. Red, red. If you remand the Iron Crag, they're fucked. Yeah, if that's if they had played one. We let this go. 
because I can't sack this treasure token. So if we draw Velomachus, the other Velomachus, or an Indomitable Creativity here, technically, we could win. Nope. All right. Let's find better hands. We had to mold a five there for some mediocrity. No. Nope. <clears throat> they mold the six. Okay. Yeah, sorry, that's what you're supposed to do, Shauna. But the thing is, you, you let the Iron Crag resolve always because they can't do anything afterwards except for play one spell. So the Iron Crag is one of the worst cards in Belcher. It really is. Because it's one of their most vulnerable ways to try to kill people. Because they play a bunch of Pacts and Veil of Summers, and they usually have enough mana to fail, or they can... Belcher is, when it's played well, it's a lot like creativity when it's played well. When it's played poorly, it looks really fragile and, like, you know, nonsense. But it's actually a lot better than that. You just have to, like, read the situations and be like, oh, wait, I don't actually have to go for it here. You don't understand why the opponent didn't kill right away with infinite damage. How would they do that, Killer Dark? I'm not sure if I understand how they could do that. One of the worst draws in the deck. Okay, okay. I should have played the mine on the second turn. Oh well. It'll probably be fine. Or not. Let's find out. Yeah, that was a significant punt. <laughs> what Trat's trying to say is why don't kill. So I think I'd rather reman this this turn. I know that spell pierce in theory is going down in terms of how viable it could be, but if I hit the right card here, we could just win. Yeah, exactly, Carrion. So this turn, I could just let it resolve. But I can also Ice on Upkeep. Ice on Upkeep means that I can't. All right, it's fine. Uh, hold on. The Prismari Command... Okay, I have to... I probably should go draw two plus make the treasure with Prismari Command. There's an argument for doing something else, but... I could let the recross resolve and then mill them for two and make a treasure, but then I'm not necessarily able to win. I I, I completely agree, Punt. Uh, I think it's one of the most... You, you have to play a lot of magic to realize how... Uh, 
insanely important those moments can be. So what we can actually do here is go draw two, discard two, make a treasure. And if I hit a land, we can use the treasure on the spell pierce. If I hit a fetch land. Um, perfect. So I can ditch fire ice, fire ice. And then Pierce. All right. We got good odds here. I'm 45 with seven warps. It has saver. Okay. One more shot. Plus, I could draw a fetch. That's really bad. That's really good. Come on, baby. Ah! I need blue. It's okay. Prismari command. I just saw Prismari command. So there won't be one in this stack, most likely. Uh, that's the miss. Oh no! All right, spell Pierce. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, there are two. They can't bolt any more lands. No, I. I mean, I understand how Ascension's loop... I understand how Ascension loops work, Rockstacker... Or not Rockstacker, Ascension, Killer Dark. What I'm asking you is, why was that a better thing for them to do than what they were doing? It, was it a better thing for them to do? when they, Like, I know that that is a thing they can do that is a... I don't know. Like, if what they're worried about is me interacting with them at some point along the chain, which is what they were... Could we fetch for a second Steam Vents instead of Sacred Foundry? Yeah, we definitely could have. Uh, could Definitely could have? I don't remember, punt. I, I honestly don't remember. I'd have to go check the tape. Do you think that's two results oriented? Maybe not in this build. And maybe not in the game we were in, right? Like, I, I think you, you might be on to something there. I mean, I say on to something there. I think you're, yeah, I think you're right. I think... My instinct is that you are correct. Is that I... I shouldn't have gone in for the white because realistically it only gets me to fairy, which isn't even that good in the matchup. It's fine. Four counter spells in the top 15 cards. Yikes. It's trying to friend me. Yeah. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this deck is unfriended. So apparently my opponent is a fan of the stream and they're playing one of my decks. They're playing Creativity. Here comes the Rand Six. Yep.
And are we drawing a lot of lands? What are they going to play here? They're playing Prismari Command here. I guess that's pretty okay. All right. Good modes. Like the modes. Ah, okay, they're an Emrakul build. Good to know. Right, but how much defense, for lack of a better term, Killer Dark could they have had if they were trying to kill me on the one turn, right? I guess is my question. Because remand, please no. Yeah. Um Because that seemed to be their concern. Oh, I know Luminar. I mean, not yet they're not, but they got a what? Okay. And then what? Oh. I mean, sure, but <laughs> Blitz. I love that. Thank you. Beautiful bastard. Oh, good. There's no remand. Excellent. I have the remand. I see. Ba -ba. Yes, yes, now you see, opponent. This is not quite the mirror match you thought it was. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Shut up. I, I have definitely said those words that way, yes. In my mind, that's how I said it. 
Oh yeah, Jig. No, no. They had to get up to 80 cards somehow. I don't know, Jiggy. I, I have no... I got nothing for you. Those people are psychos. Voice is fine. Oh, yeah. That is... Total legal maneuver there, opponent. Alright, looks like we're gonna get this one. As long as the dragon is lucky. No, we don't even have to be that lucky. They've shocked themselves to 11. Dancing in the street. 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 No, opponent, don't pass. Oh, fine. Okay. Almost ran into disaster? I mean, they have, right? Like, they have run into disaster. By not acting, it was the same as... Yeah, we got him. Yeah, voice. And it was, well, it was the only valuable card in Dragon's Maze, right? The other way means no sweet treasures. I mean, that is true. Sweet, sweet treasures. All right, we took game one there. Spell Piers, Fluster Storm. I'm definitely staying on turns. Don't need hard evidence. I think that's it. <laughs> You're funny, Blitz. God, this ABC by the Jackson Five is a bop. Is this good enough? Sure. Have I been practicing? I have. This practice pad has gotten more use in the last like three weeks than it did in the last like 18 months. Like I can literally pull up the sheet, the, the drum books that I've been looking at. And this is 100% legal because I definitely own all these books and paper and these are just scans of my own books. In, actually, in several cases, that is 100% true. And by several, I mean all, of course. 100%. That is actually true, though, because we work on iPads. I um, I actually do get PDF versions of all the books that I own and put them on the iPad. Well, it's a, you put it on the iPad, Carrie and Lynch, on a monitor. I mean, uh, maybe you're using it as the same uh, definition. Boom, 
Just a screen. Yes, it's just a screen. Tefri. So usually I down take the Teferi, but we're super favored in the mirror. Ah, it depends, Jiggy. Because if they resolve their creativity first, I can't really play mine into it. Um, we're slightly favored in the mirror, I think. Just because we can kill on turn four, it's a pretty big deal. Just guys doing okay. Who likes crappy explore? I do, I do. A good draw. So, in order to kill to vary, they need to spend at least, I want to say at least three or four mana. They could have bolt, bolt, ren six ping. I'm not playing around that. If they're if they truly are on my build of creativity, then they only have two bolts, and they might have boarded some of them out. Because we in the post board. Now, you might be saying to yourself, but Zach, what if they creativity X2 here? Well, we actually have the out, but I wonder if anyone in chat can see it. Because what they're going to get here is Sarah's Emissary on Planeswalker and Emrakul. The question is, how do we beat this? We have everything we need right in front of us. That's the one, Karrion Lich. You've been studying, haven't you? Oh, uh, that's correct, Rockstacker Stan. So I can't get the spell off Elamachus here. It's probably okay. So what you're saying, Karrion, is you play decks that encourage tight technical play. That's what I heard you say. That's all I heard you say, is that you work harder for your wins than the average person. Which, frankly, I think is better than not. I think it makes you a better player and honestly a better human. All these people playing tier one decks, they're just they're just worse than you. And I mean there's you know, I don't want to sound harsh about it, but they're just worse people. The mono blue echoes legacy streams. There there is something similar to that that's viable right now, right? Okay, so they have the prismatic ending for my Teferi, it looks like. 
Or they have a second Teferi of their own? Okay, that's fine. Well, there's eight casts, but I think there's an Urza Karn version still floating around. I know, I know eight cast is a thing, but... So if I down tick to fairy, I draw a card. We'll see if we hit a fetch land. Then we can play. Oh, I don't have any more Velamoxes in my deck. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, so we can go shock to fairy, make a treasure, and then play time warp. No, we we can J Dub C T, but if I want my Velamoxes to trigger, I need to remove their to fairy first. The question is, how do I do that with my current hand? Like this. <laughs> room decks only. I like that. Yeah, we're going face here. We got a pretty good shot at just winning the game, so. Full miss? Jeez. I'll take it. We can run back the play from last time if they have uh, creativity again. It's in God's hands now. Oh, it says GG. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> I don't know if the deck... Why not fire Ren there? I would rather have a card than two damage on the Ren and six, Baby Dino, because they're not playing any turn spells, so they can't magically... Um get the Ren and six to seven and then emblem it. Uh, Digitech Wire, I recommend renting or proxying this deck first and seeing if you have the tolerance for it. There are a lot of people who don't and very good players. Um, now, F. Paulus really likes the Ember Cool Sarah's Emissary version uh, like to a ridiculous amount. Um, like he thinks it's very, very, very good. No, they're not on turns. Yeah, of course. Horadric, uh, that was that was a really crazy... Yeah, Caleb D likes the Titan version. I, I very, very much do not like the Titan version. It's a fine deck. I just, I can't stand, like, what, what that deck is. Um, but your mileage may vary. Yeah, it, well, it's, it's just up to what you like out of the game, Digitech Wire. Titan is more consistent than the Velomachus version. Um, okay, so they are uh, a counterspell deck, but as long as they don't have any cards in the graveyard, uh, they shouldn't be able to counter me so we can go beginning of combat to kill the Ragavan. Maybe they'll do something goofy like pre-comic, go uh, DRC... Huh. 
This is strange. If they are on Grixis Monkey, I suppose they could have actual factual counter. No, they can't play Counterspell here. I'm not sure why they sequenced that way. You know the thing, Shauna? Spider Space is super high on the uh, Archons. Like... Uh, that is a really difficult question, Blitz. I, I don't have a good answer for that. I really do not. Uh, I wish I did. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't, I don't have a good answer for that. I, I don't know if there is a good answer for that. Um, I think Bellomachus involves learning less. Um, it's much more linear. But I don't know. It's it's really really difficult to. Yeah, I. It's tough. Well, the Titan version is very different, Digitech Wire. So, like, one of the things is like, it, you always get something out of it. Uh, resolving. Oh, they're on the, the version that's playing white. Oh, this is a great play for me. Yeah, Velomachus is the sugar rush for sure. So they're on the four color version. They took my time walk. That was a really poor choice from the opponent, I think. So if they dash Ragavan, I can reman it. If they have another way to dash Ragavan, it gets killed by a dwarf token that they probably don't see coming. Um, although maybe it's better to just jam the Jace here. Uh, I'll try Jiggy. Titan hits the sweet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that's the other thing, too. It's like some... Like, I don't ever want to specialize in Primeval Titan, like, Amulet Titan the deck. Not because it's not good. Not because it's not flexible. Not because it's not cool. But because I don't like killing people on turn two. I would feel bad about it. Whereas, like, killing people on turn three, four... Like, it's just the way Amulet is, like, really gross to lose to when it does the crazy Amulet thing. It just it just drives me up the wall, and I I wouldn't have it... Wait, no. We don't have to remand this. We just let him kill the monkey. It means I can't cast the Jace, but they'll play something for me to remand in a second, I'm sure. Right, boys! That's an ambush! I'm afraid of the Titan. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm afraid of the Titan's power. I mean, you called it poop, but I'm the one who's afraid of the Titan's power. Yeah, that's definitely the problem for for sure. Yeah, I, I'm just not that kind of player, Digitech Wire. Like, I just don't appreciate that kind of gameplay. It just makes me feel bad. I don't, I don't appreciate it. So if I reman this one, they can't replay it. No, I've never been a Grishel Brand player or anything similar. Pending my dwarf? Sure. Yeah, I think, like, I, I do think that there are different... Okay, each build of creativity has advantages and different disadvantages in different metagames. I think it's just too complex of a question to find out which one is best in a given metagame. It's very difficult. Um... So this gives me the out of just drawing Velo. You always sound terrified when playing versus Omelet. Well, how could you not be? Deck is disgusting. Am I bouncing this for sure? I still have a land drop, so I want to look for a fetch first. Because then... Oh, but Prismari Command doesn't kill that. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. Love that draw. But, okay. We put the warp back in the deck, and then they have to have specifically Thoughtseize if they want to take the Velo off me. I guess the other option is not playing the Prismari command this turn. I want to have the freedom to fetch here. They put Velo on top, and then just draw for turn. So it means I can't play the Prismari command. I know their hand is two DRCs. There's probably no, because they would have played they would have played a discard spell, right? Put back Velo and Time Warp. Okay, but that means I'm not. Like if they dash a Ragavan, that means I just lose my Teferi. I don't like that. Like they have the two DRCs. They probably have some kind of removal, but I have a Teferi. Freedom Fetch is a good political platform. Third monkey. Hey, man. I'm putting back Time Warp and Snow Covered Mountain. I'm playing the Mesa. If I don't have to fetch, I won't. We have to get specifically thought seized here, which they haven't played yet. And the version from the challenge was not playing um, Death Shadows. This is more of a controlling build. Okay, my guess is they have Croxa. DRC, sure. Yeah. Okay. Do I want to shock them? It's probably unnecessary. That's a good draw. Go, my dragony friend. Scroll. Hmm. Good draw. All right. So this is basically over. Uh, I could ice this. I don't need to. I'll let them block if they want. Right, it's over. Got him! Hmm. That was really smooth. Yep. I mean, unless I want the helixes... Yeah. Cut an evidence cut of Reman for two helixes? Yeah, that seems good. Reman's fine. Like, obviously it's okay, but their deck is mostly very, very cheap. And, again, people are going to get all in a tizzy about me cutting a hard evidence um, against the, the kind of deck that they're playing. But the truth of the matter is, like... Removal is better for their small creatures than hard evidence is. Hard evidence does not block flying DRCs. It's not very good against Croxa, whereas like Prismatic Ending is a lot better. Spell Pierce and Flusterstorm are important for trying to get your combo off. So 
I know it's really tempting to... Isn't Revelry kind of gangbusters? No, again, because it doesn't create flying creatures. And, again, they're only 1-1s. One like, it's weird to say it that way, but they're only 1-1s. One it's... it's. I don't think Revelry is that good against them. If If you do, you can play it and prove me wrong. Maybe someday I will play it against them. I don't think it's very good. Maybe it's better than Remand? I'm not sure. I don't think that it is, though. Yeah, evidence. I mean, evidence is a good card here, and that's I'm still playing three. We're still playing three hard evidence. It's it's not it's not like I cut the evidence. Uh, okay, am I taking a bolt here? I think I am. I really don't want to, but all the cards in my hand are good, so we're gonna go to fifteen before the next turn. But that's okay. Crocs on turn two is a very mediocre play for their deck. It's extremely poor. Okay, I'm going to shock here too. Because I want to have Spell Pierce Remand here and then be able to play the Teferi. Their deck is just medium. I mean, I like it a lot. I that's That doesn't actually mean it's not medium, yeah. I like medium decks, I guess. They shock? They yeah, Kaya's Guile? It's just worse than Shadow. Well, I think so too. I like it more than Shadow. Does that matter to anyone? Just give money. Let's see him go fetch Lane Croxa, please. One time. Or Bobble, Bobble untap Lane Croxa. They need a red. Please play Croxa. Please. Uh, good enough. Mm. Oh, but if they hit the land, they could probably play the Croxa. All right, pass. <laughs> Inspector Zoidberg. Inspector Zoidberg is on the case. Uh, okay. Now, Zoidberg eats stuff. Okay. Got a plus. I hate plusing here. Creature, sorcery. Yeah. We have to. I'm going to minus. I lied, we don't have to plus here. Of course, if they just play the Croxa, I'm in huge trouble, but... And I discarded the other Tef. Gosh, I'm such a moron sometimes. God, I just... I think I punted because I just didn't draw that land for a bunch of turns in a row. Just don't play the Croxa and I'm a happy man. They're playing the Croxa. God damn it. It's okay, we still have two more Teferis in our 46 cards. We could definitely draw one. Yep. That's fine. Oh! Hot.
Jace worse too. Jace would have been good. Jace would have been good. Oh shit, they're one card from escaping the second Kroxa. Please no. No! <laughs> oh no. Why why did they actually draw both? That's so gross. Alright, now we gotta draw Jace or Teferi. It's like basically the only I guess I could draw a fetch land this turn and creativity next turn. Nothing's coming up, Zoidsberg. Oh, or another ending, I guess. Shit. Do I have to shoot this? I think I do. I mean, if I don't do it, I just discard it, so. We drew the creativity and the fetch land in the wrong order. We give them a bobble. Oh, they almost skipped their turn. Oh my god, there's still a Lurus deck. I honestly forgot. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, good, good. But they're gonna crox at me anyway. All right, we're all, I'm off it. Let's go game three. Yeah, we just got destroyed by that. I mean, it's fine. I I I goofed. I could have played that better. I just didn't. I, I got a little bit tilted by not drawing lands. And just got off focus. They've had Ragavan on the opener every time. I'm going to assume that if they have Ragavan on the opener, I'm going to draw the one mana piece of interaction or two mana piece of interaction on two. I don't agree with you, JWCT, but they were okay draws. They were not perfect draws. They were okay draws. In most cases, the Revelry wasn't going to draw me a card. If it was making me tokens, that means they had creatures in play, so spending two mana to not remove their creatures is a little... God damn it. Alright, it's fine. We'll just draw the... Uh... No! Ah! I wanted to try them. I'm just getting distracted by... Chat questions... monkey yeah uh wait i want to fetch here so i don't lose the uh trium they took a foothills good oh okay i don't know you well enough jwct to know if you're posting or not Is that luris to hand okay i'll take it Not really a great use of your monkey opponent. If they have a bobble, maybe? I don't know if that was a good use of monkey mana. I've never seen anyone do that before. I mean, I guess they might have thought they had literally nothing else to do. That can't possibly be true. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. This is bad if we get uh, spell pierced. Oh, you will. Leaving on the midnight train to Georgia. Woo woo. Oh, if they have an ending here, that'll be annoying. Not too bad, but annoying. It's possible I should have down the Teferi. Because I already got them with the Dwarf with the Ragavan Dash, right? In game one. So I don't think they'll do that again. Yeah, it looks like not. Yeah, this is ending. Yep.
Yikes. The dwarf beat down is fierce and strong here. Hard cast, Ragavan. Okay. Doom, doom, doom. Living on the midnight train to Georgia. So I have Jace with Reman back up, but yeah, I think we just pass here. Our modern mana base is just too good. No, try playing burn against these people. Try playing burn against a modern mana base and then tell me it's too good. It's not too good. Or am I actually red with four main deck blood moons? No, modern mana bases are not too good. Because everything you're seeing here on the battlefield, there's a cost to all of this. None of this is free. You don't just get these things. I'm aware of that, Mord. I was attacking them. Damn it. Oh, no, I, I, I hit them for two or three. We, we actually did attack them this game. Sorry, I thought you were saying, like, oh, you can kill them soon, Zach. You fool. Why don't you ever notice when you can kill your opponent? Do I fire the Ragavan now, which means I can play Jace with Reman next turn and have a higher chance of... I think I'm supposed to fire now. No, but the thing is, you don't have, co you don't have problems with your colors until you do. Like, that's the thing, is it... it no, I, I, I don't think I get your point. Because it's like, these mana bases are incredibly painful. Uh, they're vulnerable to things like Blood Moon. Uh, no, I don't get your point. I'm not trying to be obtuse or anything. It's just like, I don't. I don't get it. Like, I don't think they're too good. I think they're fantastic. I like them. But there's a severe cost in all of these. I have died to a lot of mana cons inconsistency issues over my... Tenure as a modern player. I did killer switch. Now they can go lure us into Dash Monkey. Then I can play Jace and Brainstorm and uh, Creativity. So we'll see what happens. And they're going to have two mana up after Lurus if it goes that way. Just a little choked on blue, unfortunately. We are also in uh, hard cast bellow territory. And I could have spell pierce up if they have an unholy heat. Why? Okay. So we play Tefri here. I 
we're just ending Luris plus the uh, the last Dwarven mine. Double check that Dwarven Mines are not in my graveyard. No. Okay. We have one more left in the deck. I mean, if they attack Jace, I'm going to let it hit, but... I think the monk the dwarf monkey kill count in this match is like five. Sorry, what now? Why? Oh, they got a heat. Why the hell are they registering Lavinia against me? Like, what, just because it's a creature? Whatever. Stops the turns combo? I guess, but like, it's just so easy to kill. It's just, it's just another one of those cards where whenever I see it, I'm like, yeah, it sounds good. It's not, though. All right, so we creativity next turn. I mean... I don't hate Lavinia. It's bad. Like, <laughs> I don't have to hate it. It's awful. They have a discard spell, or did they mistap there? Discard spell will be not bad. A little annoying. But I can't stop it. So we discard Nahiri and Spell Pierce to the A side, B side. Then I play Creativity for Emrakul at instant speed on their next turn. So their hand is just Lavinia. If they draw any burn spell that goes upstairs, I lose. But. We're dead? No. Push kills me. They just re Oh no! Mord, why did you tell me? Oh, I was living in a beautiful, ignorant fantasy world. Oh, you bastard. You're right. Yeah, we're just dead. I needed to draw a non-land, and I didn't. God damn it, Mord. Why why did you tell me? And Croxa beat us game two and this one. And it was the it was the card they drew last turn. Unreal. Rough. All right, well, that's our only loss this league so far, or a match loss. God damn it. Why did you tell me? I could have lived in blissful ignorance for a few more seconds. Croxa is really, really, really good. 
Well, I mean, they drew the Croxa. Like that's that's what we lost to. It was it was a really really tight game. I think I played pretty much the best uh, I could the whole way through. It's not bad Uro, though, Mord, because it can kill you on, like, turn five. What if the other Titan in the cycle could be playable? What's it called again? There is no other Titan in the cycle, unless you're making some kind of joke. No, Mord, I like Uro better. I love playing Uro. I wish Uro was legal and modern right now. I'm just saying Croxa has power. Like a lot. Like a lot, a lot. No, I mean, we're already talking about Uro. We were already talking about Uro, so to say things like, oh, what, I wonder if the other one's playable. It's like, we were already talking about how it was banned. And literally comparing Croxa to it. So it's just like, not, it wasn't a very good joke. If, if that was the joke. Uh, I'll keep this in the dark. That was the joke? Cool. Sorry. I just... Wasn't a very good joke. Yeah, yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's exactly what it was, Rancid. Well, and Field of the Dead. I think Verdant Command could be solid for this. We're on the Jeskai version right now, so... No. But on the versions that are playing green, also probably no? Uh... Two mana for two tokens and gain three. Could be okay in the burn matchup out of the sideboard. Are we against um, Yogmoth? Shogmoth? No, it's going to be some gen non or uh, black green mid range nonsense. Oh, we don't have any rest in peace in the sideboard. Yeah. I was wondering why I felt like I had too many free slots. There's no such thing as miracles in Legacy right now, Karen. Let's just, just bant mid range. Jeez. Wait, do they actually play Terminus? They don't, right? They're playing too many creatures now. It is Bant, right? It's Bant as much as any any control so any control deck in Legacy. And let me let's say it this way. Every every control deck in Legacy, you can always take whatever color they say they are and add a volcanic island to the mana base and a bunch of pyroblasts to the sideboard. So they'll say like blue white control, and it's like It's five colors? What are they playing out of black? Yeah, Miracles existed uh, a couple different times after top. It took my save of the moment. That's really funny. Surgical pops up? Sure. Oh, Plague Engineer. Yeah, that makes sense. If they Liliana here, it's real bad for us. Not the end of the world or anything, but it's scary. Oh. Well, Wither Bloom Command makes sense for picking up their sagas, right? Looks like a Liliana. Maybe he's just greased. 
Nope. Oh, it's so bad. Ah. Okay. It's just top deck Jace, right? That'd be great. We can't top deck Renin Six more. Literally impossible. All right, so we're discarding the bolt this turn. Even if we could top deck the Renin Six Mord, I don't have green mana in this deck. So I also need treasures. So just like, just. Think Inquisition or um, no, Inquisition or Thoughtseize end us here. Almost definitely. They can't croc, so they don't have double red. Oh, yeah. Opponent is really boomer over there. All right, let's top deck creativity. Not quite. All right, let's top deck creativity. Drawing the Velomachus was just to make uh, just to make the deck thinner, right? 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 Fuck. Uh, so we found another matchup where not having um, Ren and Six is bad. Really bad. Oops. All right. Come on, deck, please. Oh, thank you, Jazz Festy. Yeah, I'm usually in there. It's fine. Both this game and the last match were winnable if we had slightly better draws, and we didn't. Um, it's fine. Yeah, Jess Vesti, we just 5 0'd with the normal four color version, and then this is a Jeskai version that people's been asking a lot about. Um, it's not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be, but it is bad in the exact way I thought it would be. It's definitely a deck that takes um, to to borrow parlance from uh, one of uh, Modern's newest partner Twitch streamers. A very strong heart.
Ronnie Spector. Oh, Ron Spector? Yes, I've heard about Ron Spector. I I am aware of the history of Ron Spector, yes. He's out now, right? Like, and has been for several years, I believe. What about the uh, drummer who wrote the ending for Layla? You heard of that guy? Hold on, let me get the name. Jim Gordon. Heard about Jim Gordon? It's slightly less famous, but he was infamous for a reason. No, we're not. I mean, we are talking about different people. We're talking about different people for a similar reason, Noble Rooster. I know who Ron Spector is. I know why you're talking about him. And I'm saying Jim Gordon is also famous slash infamous for a similar or same reason. Uh, that's okay. Oh, okay. Yes, sorry. For some reason, I was thinking it was Ron Spector was the guy, and yeah, yeah. But I knew he married, murdered his wife. I've just never heard the name before. And I knew she was a singer. Did I know she was a singer? I think I did. All right, so let's see if we flip into Velo or Emrakul here. Probably either one wins. Emrakul is actually the one I want less. Yeah, hard evidence is a real good magic card. Okay. Please, John opponent, be kind. Don't don't beat me. That's just because it's an enchantment carry and lich. Opponent played a card that does not interact with the battlefield and lost. Come figure. Okay, let's. Bring back the fourth remand. No, we gotta just go down to one time warp. Uh, I guess so, Pretty Flowers. I guess the thing is, what I didn't want to happen was, like, Renin 6 and... Uh, well, I had a burn spell in my hand, first of all. Second of all, I didn't want, like, Renin 6 to pin, ping the dwarf and then them have a Liliana or a different Edict effect. I think the way I played it was fine, but I could be convinced that it wasn't. Uh, I can't keep this. I want to keep this, but we're not going to draw lands. Oh my god, why? We're against Jund, please. All right, well. Yep. So we'll power out two fetches, hopefully, before if there's an Ashiok. No! Oh, shoot. I was hoping they'd have a threat on one. They haven't played the monkey yet, but I'm assuming they're playing it. All right, well, we have to mold the five against Jund. That's pretty much going to lose you most games. All right, if I find another land, we can at least theoretically play that, even if they Ashiok. Although,
Pipe down, Larynx. I just 5 0 with creativity. With Velomagus turns, even. More specifically. So. I don't want to hear it, sir. They are playing in the six. I would like to draw Fairy. There's Mari Command. Even savor the moment. Wouldn't hate. Okay, the deck really wanted to make sure that if I was going to get Ashiok'd, we'd be able to play through. Please let this be the spot where they play Bloodbraid Elf. I'm ready for it. Black, black? Well, that's terrifying. Oh! Yeah, it resolves. Whoopsie! I know that's the toasty thing, but I always thought it was whoopsie when I was growing up. Yeah, exactly. The unbanned matchup of the decade, as it was meant to be. Alright, let's see what we draw here. Okay, there's, there's no way on the planet I don't play Jace the Mind Sculptor. The question is, am I going to minus or brainstorm? I'm pretty sure I'm going to brainstorm here. Because all I need to do is find a creativity, put it back on top. And then the thing that beats that is like Ashiok. Okay, Nahiri's going on top. With a Dwarven Mine underneath? Yeah. KCOM would be really good here. Kills my dwarf, knocks a card out of my hand. Um... Okay, I see. I don't think this is the right way to do this, but all right, whatever. Are you? No, I don't understand that play at all. Nope, I got nothing. I guess I get to hit me for four. I get to keep two tokens and then three next turn. Oh, 
Bye, Tarmogoyf. Bye. You want to ping the Ren Six? Yeah, why not? Go get him, lad. You've got the strength of the dwarves behind you. Oh no! Ooh! Spicy! Opponent down to two cards in hand, wild. Yeah, these are um, playlists for my new work contract, Baby Dino. So this is uh, some of the music I'm going to be playing, so I'm just sort of re-familiarizing myself with it. So if I attack Ren and Six and they ping down my dwarf, then uh, Ren and Six is no longer here. Uh, I'm just going to keep all my cards in my hand for now. Um... Because if there's a Liliana minus, I could ice in response and then discard the other card, and then we go land Velomachus, get him. Yeah, a few of these I've only played them in like theater versions, so I just want to hear like the original version and then see what we'll end up like what or think about what we'll end up playing it like. Hold on. I'm coming. So I think they're just gonna try to play around creativity. Which means the hard cast fellow might go through. They might have a trophy for it, and that's fine. Um, or we just play the Nahiri. It it will be, yeah, obviously, Basura. It will be. I think we I think we Velo here. It's just such a high upside. They don't have a huge amount of removal that hits this. No, it's only like eight minutes long. It's not that long. Come on. Got him. Wow, I can't believe we stole that. All right, I'll be right back, and we'll finish up this league. Woo! <laughs> Okay. You're prone to exaggeration, yeah. But we could always play a version with a bunch of solos in it. I don't know if I have a video of me playing it before, but... I do have a video of me playing this during the stage show. Use Me Up by Bill Withers. So it said they were on Is It Control? I assume it's Blue Moon. With Merktide Regents? Gross. Um, they revealed Kahira, though, so they can't be on this list. So they're probably just on blue-white. If we draw lands, this hand is good enough against blue-white. So I'm going to assume that on the draw, we can hit a couple land drops. We may not be able to dodge a ball, but we can dodge a land drop. 
Also, this night this hand loses nothing against Chalice. <laughs> Remember that thing that I said I wanted to do? Keep on using me until you use me up. To do the things you do. Star Control matchup, like, it's good. It's not as good as, um, as four color because Ren and six is such a good threat against blue white. Uh, but we are playing four main deck to fairy and a bunch of cheap interaction. They didn't shock. What a move. Um, blue white is specifically dangerous because they have uh, solitude. But, um, do I need to do this? I'm going to. Bad uh, exploring here is fine. Yeah, four color is fantastic against blue white. I think I have an 80 plus percent win rate. Like, four color is gross against blue white. It is incredibly difficult for them to win. And, like, that includes playing against Wapo Tapa and Mr. Kafulet and, uh, like, other, so let's say, noteworthy players. Okay, so we'll upkeep ice. No, we won't. I've got double remand anyway. We'll end step ice. So we're going to main phase two ice? Nah, if they solitude my dwarf token, that's fine. In fact, I'm happy to play into that. That's being funny timing. Come on, do it again. Make my day, punk. Time cop. No. All the remands! Are they tilting? Feel like they're tilting. Oh, they're considering whether they should solitude right now or not. Right now? Yeah, I guess right now. So at least I assume that was what that was. Would like a land, please. Uno mas, por favor. All right. Citizen Snips.
We are very low on actual time warps to hit with the Velomachus. Run into you. Land. Land. Or Jace. Both are fine. Come on now. Guess we could also rip a creativity. Yeah, that would work. Got him. You're AFK? They have six? Really? All right. Well, that's one. Please, Solitude, now. I, I've i seen people against this deck, like, wait until, like, the third attack before they Solitude me. It's really strange. All right. Got him. That's lethal. Really nice to steal game one here. Mord, I have lethal and I don't even need to attack. What do I do? Like, I've seen people at this moment solitude me. And it's like... No, I, obviously I'm going to attack Carrion. The, the play is attack. There is no feasible out for them here, but... Attack with the trigger, throw bird. Yeah, probably. All right, so... We are going to keep... Um, some number of hard evidence, some number of bolts, but spell pierce is good. Flusterstorm's not... Great. What the hell is this version of my girl? Is this what the... I don't think this is normally what it sounds like. It sounds a little too clean. I want the Nahiri's for sure. Which I guess means I want the Emrakul. But I don't really... Like, I don't want to cut the turns package, but maybe I should cut down on the turns package, like the bad part. Because they're probably going to play a little bit more defensively this time around. Yeah, and then we'll go down one Fire Ice. One Bolt. In four color, I usually only leave one bolt, so. I guess I could cut one of the Velomachuses and just aim for Creativity X2. We've got Spell Pierce and Flusterstorm to help us re resolve to parry. Plus, we've got Nahiri as extra threat. This version of My Girl sounds like it's got a drum machine on it. It's weird. Yeah, this is this is not right. This is not what this is supposed to sound like. That is definitely a drum machine. There we go. This recording in a bunch of places is awful. But the voices are right, so. All right, this is how we're going to go. I could see wanting some prismatic endings. I don't. Yeah, but they they switched out the drums for that other recording carrion. Like it was that was a a MIDI sequencer or someone who plays like one. All 
All right. So multi six versus multi six. All right. Jeffrey is a great draw. Uh, we're not going to fetch because that lets them cast Spreading Seas. Perfect. I could hear it a hand. Okay. All right, now let's A and B it. Now go back to this. The the base is also probably programmed. Oh, yeah. Spreading season hand, by the way. We'll top that. I got the big brain, baby. That's why they pay me the big bucks. They don't. Nobody pays me. Well, not big bucks. Oh yeah, it, of course it is, Karen. It's just it just sounds so much worse than the original, even though the recording quality on the original is bad. Like, okay. So we're, we're definitely doing this. Oh, yeah, sure. That resolves, sure. I'll put the dwarf on top of my deck. Yeah, yeah, okay. Love that. I know, Noble. I It must be a moto bug. I don't know why we didn't draw the dwarf token, but, you know. I'm not going to submit a bug report because my account might get banned. Bokai!
Okay. Now, are they smart enough to down tick? They are. You don't see this play enough. You do not see that play enough. My opponent understands what's important in life. Oh, you definitely could, JWCT. It would be a lot of work. Uh, we can down tick this turn. Okay, well, <laughs> that is a potential downside. Although this means we get Velomachus next turn 100%, so that's not too bad. I mean, I agree, J-Dub, and, like, they, it was often more important to record a very clean vocal track versus the instruments having a bit of, um, peaking on them. Shoot. Ah, uh, they can pay for this. Ah! Crap. We're in trouble. They only have two cards in hand, so they need specific, like, so they have to pay for this, and then they need, oh, no, I, I know, I know, I mean, I've, I've recorded before, too, and, like, recording to tape back then, um, with the way the meters were, it was a lot harder than what it is now. Yeah, people screw it up now, and, 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 like, and I've, I definitely have screwed it up while working on my own, but. Go, baby, baby. Did you go? Okay, so we definitely go X two here. Uh, X two. If they have Archmage's Charm, they can get really clever and crush me. But X two does. Provide us some insulation against solitude. Okay. Do they have mystic? Dis no, they would have been able to dispute my creativity. I don't know what's going on over there. Subtlety could be in their hand. Subtlety and solitude, perhaps? Well, they, no, Subtlety and Solitude, J-Dub, they can't pitch. That means they don't have enough. Yeah, Subtlety is just creatures and planeswalkers, correct. There are, all the time warps are in this stack. I would like to draw a fetch land off my hard evidence. That's the only thing I want to draw off my hard evidence. I suppose I could creativity the crab to get a shuffle. I'm not going to do that until that's like the only thing I have to do, but. I'm going to creativity this crab just for a shuffle because there are two time warps on ex like exactly the bottom of my deck right now. And if we hit another time warp, it's just over. That is one of the strangest plays I've ever made in the creativity deck. Okay, we missed this time. So we get ice. Maybe that draws me into something. Uh, that'll do it. If they don't draw another white card. 
then uh, this is me assuming they have a, 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 a solitude in hand. We don't know that. They have to fairy. They'll get to bounce my velo, but I could recast it because I could remand it first time. Could have bolted them. I could have bolted them. I think drawing the card was more worthwhile at this point. That's fine. For the greater good. Okay, this looks like hard cast subtlety. They're going to jump block with it. Through the grapevine, how much longer would you be my baby? I think it's crab time. Yeah. Crab time. No problem. Time for crabby hands. Oh, I've made myself sad. All right, opponent. Oh, they disconnected. All right, looks like we're going to be 4 1 with this deck. Which is wild, and the only one we lost was to the four color, uh, like shadow or the four color mid range deck. Four color Luris. We stole the win from Jun, though, so that was pretty good. This deck is tier. Uh, the four color version is tier. <laughs> exactly, Carrion. I'm not dying to this. Sh I don't know, Mord. Make coffee. I don't think you need any more caffeine, but... Do we have to wait until, until their timer runs out? Yeah, unless they're a real jerk and they come back. I've seen people do that. Alright, I'm going to do the post-league recap right now. In case they don't come back, so... I think the Jeskai version is overall just a bit worse than the four color. Um, however, I mean, having room for more interaction is fine. The lack of green, it doesn't really make your deck more like color consistent. You do have a mountain. It was never relevant in this league, but if you run into burn, it would be. And um, you probably want some copies of Rest in Peace in the sideboard. Um I don't know if the Nahiri Emrakul package is necessary in the sideboard, and I don't if it is, you might want an Iona or a Sarah's Emissary. Um, two Spell Pierce and two Flusterstorm is probably too much of these kind of effects. This is where you should trim a little bit, and then maybe the third Prismatic ending for the rest in peace. No, we're not going to get to four-color Lutri today, but we will definitely get to it tomorrow afternoon.